Yeah, I love seeing so many people interested in the nature of mind and coming together in that way. And Balanced View offers a really um, simple way to um, live everyday life most beneficially and profoundly and easeful. That's what I came to see when I um, was introduced to Balanced View. It, it, it's really that simple that we can allow ourselves to rest with all all emotions, thoughts, experiences, everything that comes up, which we can just simply call data. And that's amazing to call it data because that shows how, how we can reduce it to a just very sim simple way of, of relating to all our um, emotion, thoughts, experiences. So we can call them simply data and that also implies that we can apply a short moment equally to each of the, the data streams, not having any data stream as better or worse or um, having more open intelligence or less open intelligence. No, no, equally we can allow all data streams to be as it is. I think all data shine through inseparable from open intelligence. So now when, maybe we'll ask ourselves, okay, what is open intelligence? So we can just stop thinking for a moment. And we can all do that. We can just stop thinking for a moment and recognize what remains when we just stop thinking. Something about us that is always alert cognizance, that that hears what I'm speaking now, the power to know remains always on. So now it's not about trying to stop thinking all the time, that's just the introduction to open intelligence so that we know what is open intelligence. Then we see a ne ne next thought comes in, or we hear the birds chirping there, and, or the music in the background over there, or we have all kinds of thoughts about our day or what happened today. So these streams, they will come continuously streaming, all thoughts, emotions and sensations, but what we see is that it, they are inseparable from open intelligence. We cannot divide them out, like we cannot divide heat out of fire. Open intelligence, inseparable from all data streams. And that's what we become to see more and more when we allow all data to be as it is. We don't need to change the flow of data streams. Now that might go against everything that we've learned, or at least it went against everything I've learned um, before I came to Balanced View. I thought I have to change myself, I have to um, change my data streams, have only positive data, so only positive thoughts about people, about myself, about everyone, but that wasn't my reality. So I tried to work on myself. I thought I was, I was flawed basically and I need to change myself in order just to have positive data about everything. So I gave my, myself a really hard time. I, always put myself down. When I, when I think about it now, how I treated myself, I mean, I, I would never you know, even like, wow, that, that was so impossible actually. Always putting myself down, always wanting to change, always not happy enough how I was, not good enough, not measuring up to something I had like high expectation of myself and also of others, but I was more focused on myself because I wanted to feel good, I wanted to have positive data. And, and then to, to come to balanced view and just hear the words, you're just perfect as you are, no matter what data streams come up, no matter if, they're, if you label them positive, negative or neutral, you're just completely perfect as we are. We can allow everything to be as it is. We don't need to like our data streams in order to let them be as they are. No need. Not liking our data is just the next data stream coming up. We can allow it to be as it is as well. So I didn't need to force myself to forgive myself. That just naturally came about. Just naturally, I just became more and more at ease with myself. To try to forgive myself like effortfully, that never worked. Or try to forgive other people that maybe have done something to me and I have all raging and trying to, oh, I need to forgive them, I need to forgive them, you know, there's so much tension. It never really worked. Maybe I tried to intellectualize it and everything, but there was always something remaining where like some cringe and some anger about, about what that person did. But then to allow it to be as it is, that natural forgiveness that is not contrived, just 
takes over. And so we don't need to contrive anything, allowing it to be as it is. When anger comes up or somebody does something, we, we may maybe pushed our buttons and we feel that angry response, allowing it to be as it is. Then we suddenly have so much insight and clarity within that circumstance and can really react in an empowered way that is not based on our anger or feeling hurt by someone, rather from the vantage of open intelligence where we see we can empower every circumstance, where we can bring benefit to that circumstance. And it can be very clear and direct, very wrathful, but it's always grounded in, in complete love and support and, and wanting to to um, benefit that circumstance. We are not anymore from that narrowed um, vantage of, of our own data streams acting and acting upon anger. Rather, we are opening, opening it up, everything. Suddenly, our narrow focus on data streams just widen. That's what happens, just our perspective widens. We see so much more clearly, we can see so much more clearly how we can bring clarity and discernment to each circumstance that we are in. But if we are narrowed in into our data stream that come up, we don't see so clearly. We just see from that narrowed vantage. But allowing ourselves to open up completely, feeling it fully, doesn't mean that we don't feel anger anymore or data raging. That's just complete energy that allows us actually to see clearly, that allows us, that is open intelligence, just bubbling, shining forth, that allows us to see clearly in each moment how we want to act. We have the choice in each moment, how we want to relate to each data stream. We are not the victims of our data anymore. We probably all have experienced anger coming up and swirled around by anger and going off and maybe reacting in ways we, we regretted afterwards. Because afterwards we see then, ah, oh, wow, that's not how I wanted to act. But now we have a tool that allows us to see clearly in that moment of the anger arising, in the immediacy of that moment, to see clearly, even if it's raging, we see clearly how to act that is of most benefit. And that can include everything, very clear, very wrathful, very direct, loving, everything. But we will know in each moment how to be and how to act not swirled around by data anymore. That is such a relief. No data can take us down anymore in any way. Rather, we use it for empowerment. So there we see that all data are so useful for our, our empowerment. We can use that energy that is stirring. So that really allows us to come to that choice again and again, to take a short moment Repeat it many times. That's a simple instruction that we offer in balance too, and that we can test out during our day. So if we are here for the first time today, we can test it out today. When we walk around, and when we speak with people, when we go off in our storylines of data streams, there we take a short moment, cutting the stories. We don't need to entertain any stories around any data stream. It doesn't lead to anything. So we can just cut it right there and allow ourselves to just completely relax. We will know everything about that data stream from the vantage of open intelligence. We don't need our, our storylines for that. So we can just allow that to rest deeply. And then we see, wow, we have so much more energy available because you probably all know when we use our energy for all the stories around everything, trying to figure out why I did that or why this person did that or why, why we are like any, this why, why, why and trying to figure out. No, it doesn't get us anywhere. So we just allow ourselves to rest and then we can use that energy actually for beneficial action. Then we see clearly, okay, how do I want to relate? So we take short moments, repeat it many times whenever we remember to do so. That's as, as much as we need to, to do in every day. Whenever we remember to do so, there we take a short moment. And then we see more and more these short moments become more and more often. More and more they grow longer in our everyday life. Slowly we more and more notice when we didn't take a short moment because it becomes so integrated in our life, the ease of, of living, the ease of being, being completely easeful and relaxed with everything going on, even anger. I thought that, that couldn't be. Can I be at ease when anger arises? It's inseparable. There we see anger doesn't limit us. No data stream limits us. 
from our completely potent and easeful nature. So we just come back to that recognition again and again, testing it out in our own experience. That's what we need to do, just testing it out. That's what I did. I just tested it out again and again. Came back to the open meetings, allowing myself to listen to the words and, and asking questions to clarify my experience. So powerful and normalizing for everyone to hear. So coming back, allowing ourselves to really rest deeply again and again. It's the most precious gift we can give ourselves and all, all others as well, because we see suddenly we become so much more open. We are less and less so focused on our data. We are open to see what will be of most benefit. We are available for people because we're not so much into our storylines anymore. Suddenly, wow, there's so much space for, for being available and for us and for, for others. So it's really an amazing way in practical everyday life, how we can live empowered and beneficial.